Well, definitely didn't do that. The M4 GTS look alike hood. It's not the hood that goes on it because they are different sizes. So I picked this up online. I put, I'll show you guys where I got it. Uh, same place Thicker 30 got it actually. He gave me the idea. Uh, obviously I wasn't gonna get it until my hood got damaged, but I figured let me seize the opportunity and go ahead and pick this hood up. Uh, the shop paid for the hood. I actually had to pay for the hinges and I'm paying for it to go into paint uh, because those were the paint. I guess I could have flexed into the shop paint, but the hinges I totally forgot I didn't need. I mean, I needed because the way the hood is now, it arches up in the back. I'll show you guys what that looks like. But yeah, the hinges are damaged as well and the hood struts. So got all of that packaged up on eBay, used. And this hood I got on eBay as well. Uh, looks pretty, pretty good. Now this is black. I didn't get carbon fiber or anything like that. I'm broke. Anyway, uh, yeah, so. I like the way, first impressions, first impressions. I like the way these come down the swoops. They look a little more pronounced. Now it could be because my car was painted silver, so you can't see them as much as you can see this one being black. Uh, when I painted silver, I'll be able to tell, but these ones definitely look a little bit more pronounced. You can tell you have the F80 hump, the F80, F82 hump in the middle to fit absolutely nothing because my car doesn't really need it just for aesthetics wise. And then you have the GTS hole. If you guys look at any of the M4 GTSs, you would see uh, the slat is right there for them. I'm not sure about the CS models, but definitely the GTS. Uh, it came with, obviously, a grill fin piece in there. Now, obviously, I won't put that on there until the car gets painted, uh, just for obvious reasons. I don't want to pop it back out. It wouldn't make any sense. Um, however, it goes through the hood so when it rains i'm not sure if it just you know gets anything wet in the engine bay what i might do is i might just go ahead and put something to cover up uh, beneath it it still looks like it has a vent but it doesn't because i don't want anything to get wet inside but just guys just take a look at that for a couple seconds i finally 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 have a hood with no damage we're going to keep it that way because it's going right back in the box because this video is really not about the GTS hood. I actually have to go out and do some things to the C300. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that, package this up, grab the C300 and head over to European Auto to get some nice looking parts for the C300. You will be on. Now I plan on, I plan on uh, putting this hood on about Friday because the, the hinges has not came in yet. So I have to wait for that. Uh, I, I am gonna get the hood painted. Uh, I wonder, I'm gonna call a couple body shops and see if it's better to leave it off the car, on the car. I am getting the bumper and the rear quarter uh, prepared as well. So I'm gonna see what they wanna do, if they want me to just throw it on and take it to them and then they paint it on the car or if it's easier for them to paint it off the car. I think off the car might be easier for them. I don't know. Also under your price quotes, I'll let you guys know how much it costs to paint a F30 GTS hood and uh, whether or not I am gonna paint it. If, if it's a lot of money, I'm just gonna go ahead and go for a whole color change uh, via wrapping the car. We'll get to that in another, another video because I have some sick ideas. But uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know what I'm gonna do further on, but I kinda wanted to take my time out to get the car looking right before I go ahead and go down the route of high pressure fuel pump and turning up the boost a lot, a lot, a lot, so more stuff breaks. Last thing I want is an ugly car that's broken. I'd rather have a nice looking car that's broken or a ugly car that works really good. So yeah, there we go. That's a really nice car, guys. 
By the way, I'm coming to you live from the iPhone. Camera is tucked away right now. I possibly might use it a little bit later, but like I said, coming to you guys from the iPhone. I like the camera on this thing. This is the Pro Max Plus thing. I got it for the main reason that I could just run and go and film you guys with this beautiful camera. So I am on the way to pick up some parts for the C300. I think you guys are gonna be really ecstatic. Well, I mean, if you've seen the thumbnail and read the title, you pretty much already know, but I don't wanna spoil the surprise if you have it. All right, guys, off the European Auto. Oh man, you beat me to it. You know how she has the sensors in the front? What, what happened? You know how she has the sensors in the front? Yeah, the sensor in These the two come out, uh huh, and the sensor screws in there. All right, cool. So you know, if I screw this up, man, don't worry. I'll is it going on YouTube? Yeah, it's going. <laughs> on YouTube. Definitely going on YouTube. Take care of the lid, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. Well, honestly, she stopped ride hike, so I think we'll be fine. Look how much gap you got. Oh wait, this is the GLE. No, the GLE. The um, no. Yes, this is the GLE, bro. Oh, you stupid, the GLE. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh. Yo, she's gonna be super excited for the this diamond grill. I'm gonna be excited for the the <laughs> lip. I mean, look at the difference. Oh yeah, I can see it already. Yeah, yeah, it looks fire. This is the before. I don't know, I kind of like the sedated look of this, but that does look a lot better. Uh, well, she had a good couple of months on the, on the car. Huh? She had a good couple of months on the car. Well, you know, there's always a time for, uh, you know, separation. So, sorry to say, but it's gone, brother. Let it go. <laughs> and, uh, and super shout out to this guy because I got a steal on this. <laughs> and uh, you know, once you confirm that low price, I'm not, I'm not letting go. So I ain't even mad though. <laughs> going to a good home. Yeah, yeah. You listen. If she runs in the back of somebody, I'll be more pissed than you. Trust me. What coming next? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, we got to get yours on next. But yeah, I'm gonna say what's up to G. And I'll probably head up out of here, throw that right. on, and do my thing. Yo, this how you know. This is how you know. I'm so used to driving crappy cars. So they're doing construction over here. And <laughs> I hear it come back a block away. And I hear like a loud ticking sound. I'm like, oh crap, this car is broken. Like that's my first, okay, yeah. Anyway, I don't know what idiotic thing you thought you were gonna do. But I'm like, yeah, some broke. It was the guys over there working on the street. I'm so used to driving cars that's breaking. And not my BMW, but just like, I don't know, crappy cars, like older cars. I thought it was this, yo. It feels nice to, to drive something that doesn't break a lot. However, you know, costs cost more money, so I don't know. What would you prefer? To buy a crap box a, or a, a piece of crap, don't pay any money, but don't just break it on you. What would you prefer? Car payments, but no problems. And don't get me wrong, just because you make car payments does not mean that it ain't gonna be no problems. It just means that you may have less problems than the junk box. Well, you may, who knows? Tight spot with no extension, try not to scratch the paint. One side done on the right, so now we gotta get over here. 10 millimeter on the left. This is one final look at the stock setup. That is the stock grill that it came with. Really want to get rid of that license plate. But that has happened another day. Uh, as of right now, I'm gonna try to beat the, looks like bad weather rain or something. Try to beat it. I know, uh, I know I have two 10 millimeters right here. Uh, left, I have a one 10 millimeter. I have one 10 millimeter on each side. Left, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and try to pull the bumper back. Oh, that was easy. I went ahead and I pulled off these two side screws. They were really easy to come out. Obviously, you could tell someone's been in there before because uh, these are two totally different bolt screws, but 
it held up so that's the most important part looks like all four all four screws all, all four 10 millimeter screws are out in fact so i'm gonna go ahead and try to pull it forward and see what happens uh, a couple extra things that i figured out one these three t25s have to come off and there are actually two screws in here so you're gonna see something like this with a push pin in the top where did i put it all in here with this in the top you pull this out first and then you pull out the uh, clip and that will give you some room to wiggle behind to get behind the splash guard which you'll find two 10 millimeter bolts behind here not just one and once you get that off you should be good to go so i'm gonna go ahead and give it a tug So if your car is equipped with the Starlit Mercedes-Benz emblem, you're gonna have to disconnect it right here before you go ahead and pull it off. Just to show you guys, because I was struggling on it. It's the, uh, how can I get the camera to show it out when it focuses? But it's these little black tabs. You have silver tabs on here, you have the black ones. It's these little black ones on the top that go into here, make it a little easier to take out. So I'm gonna go ahead and take all that out and pull the bumper off. Pull a grill out, sorry. Give it some love. You guys would be think I'm lying if I told you it wasn't this hard to get this freaking grill out of this car. Oh, that looks disgusting. Ah, here we go. Sorry, but sorry we're in the trunk right now. But yeah, so for all intents and purposes, these are the two grills. Now this car does not come equipped with a front sensor camera. I just realized that because this is in uh, this is uh, kind of capped off just like this one so it should go right in all the silver trim has been blacked out if you look right here you can see all that silver now the chrome remains up here i think it'll be a nice touch i think it will uh what i was originally thinking about doing with this car is blacking out everything that was chrome however now with this diamond grill what i'm thinking about doing is leaving little things like the door handles chrome and blacking out just the kind of satin silver so if you take a look at it this is the really shiny chrome on the door handle and this is kind of like this like a satin silver stainless steel kind of look i'm going to make it all black like this that's what i'm going to do it's not really a chrome delete but a silver delete if that makes any sense to you guys comment below let me know what you guys think if i should do it or not or if you think it will look dope or not that chrome right there still just might go. I uh, have a carbon fiber front lip for the car as well. I'm not gonna put that on today because I'm running out of time. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys in uh, another video, I'll go ahead and throw it on. But let me throw it on this grill so I can get stuff done.